Okay. Can you see my screen? Yes. Good. Okay. Well, thank you everyone for joining us today. Um, we are hosting a webinar all about organizing training. So it's going to be about what you need to know and how we can help you. Um, my name is Tina Abernathy and my co-host today is Kayla Karunas. We're going to introduce ourselves, tell you a little bit about who we are and what we do. And we're just going to tell you a little bit about JN Software and CompuWeez, just so you know what kind of uh, training that we offer and how we can help you and your team. So I am excited to have the opportunity to have joined JN Software and CompuWeez as an accounts manager. My career started in community development and counseling and over many years has morphed into many aspects of business and sales. I've been involved in land development, marketing, uh, many new business startups and real estate, but I've always focused everything around client care. So I have a passion for working with people and businesses and I want to help everyone achieve their goals and I aim to make the process as painless as possible. So when I'm not busy with my three teenage daughters, I love fitness, cooking and travel. Hi everyone, my name is Kayla and I'm excited to join the JN Software and CompuWeez team as a training manager. So I've always enjoyed organization, planning, and creating solutions. Uh, training coordination and management allows me to organize, plan, and create every day. So in previous roles, I was responsible for organizing uh, leadership forums for emerging young leaders and supporting professional development initiatives across Canada. So this experience paired with my current experience has formed my client-focused working philosophy and sparked my passion for planning professional development. In my, spare, in my spare time, I love to learn and can usually be found reading at home in Toronto next to my cat, Arthur. I also usually have a puzzle in progress, the largest one I've completed being about 2,000 pieces. Awesome. So who are JN Software and CompuEase? So these are sister companies that provide services throughout Canada. JN Software offers training, consulting, and database development Canada-wide, and CompuEase provides training for Ottawa and the National Capital Region. So since 2002, JN Software has been offering training, online public classes with a live instructor, and private online with an online training, with online training, excuse me. And we do also offer consulting and database development. And since 1988, CompuEase has been providing on-site public training at our downtown Ottawa Training Center, and also offering private and one-on-one -on -one training either on-site or online. So what sets us apart? A number of things set us apart from our competitors. You can always expect fast quality customer service from us. Our classes have highly skilled and experienced professional trainers. We have a public class schedule with guarantee to run classes that run often and regularly. We are also always offering live instructors. Our sessions are never pre-recorded. We have our learner comeback free policy in all public classes, which Tina will go into in a moment. We have 24 seven after training support for all software training and both software and professional skills training. So what I like to do when we have a webinar is just to let you know some of the training courses that we do offer, just because it is quite extensive. Um, of course, we do our software training, um, Microsoft being very popular, so Excel, Word, PowerPoint. Um, right now with COVID, Teams and Microsoft 365 is being very popular, obviously. Um, we do do Adobe as well, so we have Acrobat, Photoshop. We also offer programming and specialty um, courses, so Crystal Reports, um, Excel, VBA, Access. Now, with regards to professional or soft skills training, we actually do offer quite a bit. So there is uh, personal development, so we do anger management, stress management, um, we do time management courses, and this is not just, um, you know, learning about Outlook, but it's learn working smart with Outlook. Um, we do business development, project management, uh, team building, which where we developing high performance teams, communication skills, so business etiquette, public speaking, uh, problem solving courses. Um, we do leadership skills and we do writing skills, so business writing and writing reports and proposals as well. So now jumping into the webinar, we will be covering questions we frequently get asked about training, uh, including booking private versus public training, uh, customizing courses for different departments and organizations, uh, training location options, software versions, and more. Um, organizing training we know can be quite overwhelming sometimes, so we'd like to save you some, uh, some time and headaches. So just before we go into it, I'd just like to ask that if you have any questions, definitely put those in the chat. We'd be happy to answer them. Uh, we will answer those questions at the end of the presentation. 
Absolutely. And if anyone's having any difficulty, we do have Mel here for tech support. So just send her a message in chat if you can, and uh, that would be great. So when you start um, thinking about booking training for yourself or for your team or for your business, um, it usually starts with um, wondering if you, should, if you should take public training or private training. So with public training, this is something that's really great if there's one member of your team that needs specific training or yourself or less than four people. And that's for standard non-customized training. Um, with JN Software and CompuWeez, we always offer all our training no matter what. Um, in-person live instruction and it's never pre-recorded. We're always, we always guarantee to run all our public training. So if you're the only person that's booked a class, we're still running that class. Um, we do have a free after training support. This is for software training. And Kayla is actually going to speak about that a little bit later in this webinar. Um, we have a policy which is learn or come back for free. So if you are, even if you look into our 24 hour um, seven day a week support that we do offer and you're still finding that you can't retain the information that you've learned from that course, we want you to come back and take that course for free. Um, our classes run often, you can you have the convenience of learning right from your desk and you can book online. So I just actually want to show you really quickly kind of how to, uh, to get onto our different websites and kind of how you can book pu a public class. So just bear with me one moment while I just flip over. just flip over here. So Kayla, can you see the uh, JN site? Okay, perfect. Uh, I didn't want to get started talking and only to not actually be sharing my screen. So thank you so much. Um, okay, so if you get onto our JN software consulting site, it's actually really simple. There's several ways to, to see our classes. You can go down to courses and our drop down menu. You can have a look at everything that we offer this way and just click on that way. I like to just click here at a virtual public schedule. Just going to use Excel as an example. So if you just wait for it to load, you just scroll down, click on to Excel. So here you can see, if you click here, you're going to be able to compare all of our Excel courses and we do offer quite a bit. It's not just level one, two, and three, um, but let's just say you want to book level one. We give you the dates and you just click here to register. Very straightforward. On our CompuWe site, it's actually quite similar. You're gonna, again, you can go down to our course list, click on to Excel training, scroll down, and you can again see what courses that we're offering, when we're offering it, the cost, and you can register. You can also look at it with a calendar view as well, just if you want to look at what's coming up next. And this one's just for Excel, so you can go in course by course. Okay, so let's get back to our slideshow. And we can just um, have Kayla speak about private training. So you'll see with private training, there are some similarities between this and our public training, such as the always live in-person training and the free after training support uh, for the software training. Um, there's also the option to learn where you are, so this includes on-site at your location, so maybe your office, um, the option of, of learning in our lab in Ottawa and also online, of course. Um, you have the opportunity to customize your objectives, so if you wanted to take a bunch of different objectives from different Excel courses, for example, and put those into one course to cover everything you need, that's an option as well. Uh, participants can learn using the files that you have uh, at your organization, so the trainer can have access to could have access to those and use those to create a training, a training plan. Um, that way they can learn from what they're familiar with. Uh, there's the option for it to be booked for dates and times that work for your schedule. And it's best for groups of five or more participants since most standard private classes are more cost effective than public once you've reached a group of about five or more participants to take the course. So now we'll move into our frequently asked questions about training. So we do offer on-site training, we have a training center, and we do online training. Currently, we are offering everything online with a live instructor. Um, and we're going to actually go into more detail about what that's going to look like. Um, we do have a state-of-the-art training center, fully equipped training center in downtown Ottawa. Um, but obviously, with COVID, we're, you know, we're not actually offering 
courses at this time um, at our center. Um, but we all we do offer training throughout Canada, and we have trainers that can come to you to your location on site. Right now, a lot of businesses um, and companies are opting to have all their employees work and train from home. So you just let us know what you're looking for, what works best for you, and we will accommodate. So of course, one of the biggest questions we get is which software do we use for online training? So we do use a software called Ring Central Meetings for our virtual training and for our webinars, including the one you're currently on. Um, so Ring Central software runs the Zoom platform. So the way I usually explain it is that um, that Ring Central is the door, and then once you open it, Zoom is inside. So Ring Central offers the option of access through either your browser or the application. It also offers the option of computer audio and dial-in numbers that cover all of Canada. So the reason why this is important is in the off chance that for some reason your computer computer audio isn't working, you're able to dial in through either a landline or a cell phone and access the session audio through that option. Um, our trainers use the screen sharing feature offered by the platform to demonstrate your learning objectives in real time. And of course, if you're looking to learn more about how the platform works in the context of a, a training session, we're definitely happy to demo it for you. So we also do get asked if you can use your screen sharing software for the training. Um, we understand that you may prefer to have your participants use your platform or maybe that you have a high level of security at your organization, meaning that only a select screen sharing software is available to you. And we can definitely use your platforms. Our trainers do have expertise in platforms including Teams, WebEx, GoToMeeting, Adobe Connect and more. And on the off chance it's something they haven't used, they are definitely quick learners. So of course, another big question we would get is how long are our classes? Uh, they are usually six hours from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern time, including a one hour lunch and two 15 minute breaks. So the one hour lunch and two 15 minute breaks are flexible and don't have to be at a set particular time. Um, we also do get asked if we split up our classes. Um, sorry, Tina, I'm gonna to flip to the next slide there. And the answer is definitely yes. The six hour classes can be divided into two three hour classes. And one, of, one benefit to private sessions, this is for private sessions particularly, one benefit to this is that there could be a chance maybe you're in different time zones, so maybe you want a different start time, or if you have two different groupings of staff, maybe they can only do a three hour session because of their scheduling, they can't be away from their desk for six hours. So in this case, you could book full days, but group A maybe trains at its first three hours of the morning, group B plans to train at the three hours in the afternoon, and then repeat that the next day so everyone's had their six hours of training but is still able to work on both of those days. So another big question of course is how many participants do we recommend in a class and this does differ between software training and professional skills training. So the ideal number of participants for software training is six to twelve participants. Uh, we will train group sizes larger than this amount however there is a few things to keep in mind when you do have a larger group. So with software tra training, it is common that as group sizes increase, participants have a wider gap in their range of knowledge, uh, which means you may have some less experience that are uh, experienced participants that are lagging behind, while the more advanced participants may become disengaged as they're waiting for the others to catch up. And this becomes true as the, co the, the software becomes more complex. You would want a smaller group size as you get into more complicated types of software or programming. So in addition, particularly with software training, as the group size increases, you are more likely to have more participant questions that come up for the trainer. So for example, let's imagine we're in a class of 20 participants and each of those participants has a question. Each of those questions take about five minutes for the trainer to answer. We'll end up with about 100 minutes of, of more than, pretty much more than an hour and a half of class time where the trainer is answering questions they've been asked. And obviously we know that maybe isn't the way it's going to go. We're not going to end up with a class full of people that have questions, each person has a question, but we do want to allow for adequate time for the participants to ask questions and to interact in class in order to keep their engagement. So with professional skills training, uh, a larger group is actually more beneficial. So we'd recommend with this, with this type of class to have 15 to 20 participants. And the reason for this is a larger group provides more opportunity to practice the skill. In addition, it also allows for more of a wider range of participant, participant examples and experiences with that particular skill. And of course, as you get into some professional skills, obviously there's a level of vulnerability involved. So uh, a larger group does feel more safe. And so on, this, on these two topics, of course, on whether the ideal amount of software training uh, participants and professional skills training participants, we do have blogs available on this. And we will, uh, by the end of the presentation, we'll be showing you how to, how to navigate to our blog there.
Absolutely. Okay. So we always also do get asked which level of training should my participants take? And of course, as you, as you know, participant knowledge levels do vary. So the biggest question to start by asking yourself is what are you looking for the participants to get out of, uh, to use the skills they're learning for? Uh, this will help determine your starting point for which course outline to review. So based on the bits and pieces of what one knows, they may overestimate their skill level in a particular software program. So rather than asking your participants to estimate what they think their skill is, Having them review the outline for the level you're considering to see what they know is an excellent way to kind of gauge where their skill level is at. So if your participants review an outline for a particular level and know and understand about 70% of what the objectives are that they're seeing, they can likely move into the next level up for that software. So as you probably encountered in your day to day work, you do learn different skills from various software that are useful to you. So I, for example, in past experience learned pivot tables uh, for conference registrations. And while pivot tables are a part of our Excel Level 3 class, uh, this doesn't necessarily mean I should skip straight into Excel Level 3. Depending on one's knowledge and uh, skill level in, that area, in areas of Excel, I may need the foundations provided by Levels 1 and 2 before jumping straight into Level 3. And of course, again, we're always happy to help you. So we will definitely help in determining the most suitable levels of training for your participants or groups of participants. So customization, yes, we do offer customization for our private classes, and this can be very cost effective for you and the company and the organization. So for example, instead of sending all your staff members to take um, three levels of Excel, the group can take one custom course that you could do in one day. So that's gonna cover everything that your group needs to focus on. Think of the cost of training um, for three courses for each employee um, and, and the cost of each of those employees not working for three days um, versus a custom training course where you're going to pay for one day of custom training and all your employees are taking one day off of their work. Um, there is so many options really for customization. The sky's the limit. It's really just about kind of having a conversation with us and just us understanding what it is that you're looking for. Um, we sometimes get asked to create custom courses or custom objectives for our clients. Um, most often we are asked things like, can you use your own files, which absolutely. Um, can you mix and match courses or um, objectives in each courses? And, uh, and it's fine. So for example, like Excel, you could choose to spend more time focusing on VLOOKUPs or pivot tables and cut and trim down other objectives that are in Excel level three. Um, French training, we absolutely do offer French training. So for our public classes, we have Excel level one, two, and three, um, and everything else, all the other courses that we do offer, um, it's just a private training session, but we absolutely do have French trainers and we're happy to accommodate you. Okay, so something else that does come up is when one should consider consulting or a combination of both training and consulting. So we know that sometimes you have a particular objective in mind for why you'd like to learn a new skill, or maybe your organization is launching something new, however specific training is required with that. So this is where consulting combined with training is ideal. A consultant will work with you to learn what your objectives and needs are and the solution you might be looking to introduce or build. And then they're able to create an outline for your staff or train you on how to train your staff on that particular, on that particular project. So we have an example where we've had clients interested in introducing OneDrive as a store solution in their organization. So the client first wanted to learn uh, OneDrive himself and then work with a consultant to build out a training outline that is specific to his organizational needs. And through consulting, we would work with this client to learn their current process for storage, how to integrate that into OneDrive, and work with the client on a training outline for their staff. And of course, we also do do consulting only, so such as creating custom spreadsheets with macros and VBA for automation, uh, Visio diagrams, or creating database, access databases or web-based applications. So which version should you train on? Well, the simple answer is the version that your office is using. Um, but actually, I mean, if you are taking a public course and you, if you're on, you know, 2013, 16 or 19, you can take any of those courses. Um, if you are going to take a private training session, you just need to let us know which version you're on so that we can make sure that our trainer is prepared. So often we do get asked what's the difference between our Microsoft 365 Essentials course and our Microsoft 365 courses. 
So the essentials course is really just what is involved in your license. Um, it's all about the online versions and it's for new users to Microsoft 365 business. And it's, it's really about using the online versions like the Microsoft app. So it's just understanding what's involved in your, with your license. If you are gonna take a Microsoft 365 Word course or PowerPoint or Excel, that's different. That's, um, that's where you wanna gain confidence in each of those courses and learning to navigate through each of those interfaces. Um, you're gonna, of course, learn the specific objectives for each program and the key concepts and common features and functions, as well as tips and tricks and time savers. So we often get asked what's included in our training. So whether you choose public or private training, you will receive a PDF manual for your course. So this will include step-by-step -step instructions uh, for software learning objectives. Uh, professional skills include, uh, manuals include the opportunities to reflect, um, make notes and practice what is learned in the sessions. Uh, for software training, we also include exercise files. So exercise files are pre-populated files with either data, images, or text, depending on what the software is. And they're intended to be opened and used by participants to practice what the trainer is teaching in real time. So if they get stuck, they're able to ask for assistance from on a file that the trainer actually is quite familiar with. And it's quite easy to then pinpoint what the issue might be. So the combination of the trainer, the manual, the files, uh, they provide participants with what's needed to ensure that they're able to apply the learning objectives. So professional, for professional skills training, this real-time application of learning objectives does come in the form of group activity, as well as the previously mentioned exercises found in the manual. Uh, just as is the case with the software trainers, uh, p uh, participants of professional skills can definitely ask questions during the session. And of course, we also include a certificate of completion for the training. So you'll get sent this through email after, the day after the session, and it is going to include the, the class you've taken, uh, your name, and of course, the, the, uh, the date you took the class. Something else we include is our 24 7 30 day after training support vouchers. This is for software training particularly. So we know that the learning doesn't stop when training ends. As participants apply what they've learned, they may think of some questions that they'd like to ask for clarification. So both private and public participants of software training will receive 24 7 after training support vouchers after their session through email. So this email includes further instructions on how to actually register and activate the voucher. So the voucher on the screen is what uh, you see on the screen will be populated with your name. Uh, with the class that was taken, the register, the register, a registration activation date, so the date you must activate the voucher before, uh, the voucher number, which is a combination of letters and numbers. And uh, so the important thing to note is once you activate the voucher, you have 30 days after that to use it. So let's say you activate it on November 1st, uh, you'll have support until November 30th. And so that register before this date to activate uh, so just to d double note this, um, you would need to activate this voucher itself before that date. And from that date you activate it, then that would be your 30, the start of your 30 days. So once, oh, once, you, uh, oh, no, that's okay. once you access the, the link that's provided in the email that you'll be sent about the voucher, uh, this will open up a, you'll log in and it'll open up a page and that page will have a, the course that you took that you're looking to receive the support for. And uh, you'll select that software type. So if it's Excel, you click the, I need help with Excel. Um, and then what'll pop up is this chat window. And this is where you can ask your questions. It is bilingual. And in addition, if your question proves to be a little more complex, uh, it could be moved into a phone conversation as well. So a final question we do get asked is what else is available for participants? So we have a few, quite a few things here. So we have a printed manual instead of a PDF. Uh, this is available for purchase. We have quick reference cards. These are durable, full color reference cards available as well for purchase. Um, a rocket book. So the rocket book is probably my favorite on the list. So it is a reusable notebook with an erasable pen. And what's super neat about this is through the rocket book app, you take a picture of the page where you've written your notes and it will send that page to particular destinations. So whether that be an email address, you're able to keep your notes organized and have them available in a digital format. And of course, there's also uh, an extension on the after support, uh, the, the after support voucher. So that can be for one year, 24 seven, 30 day support and two hours of online, uh, of online consulting. Uh, so you can receive personalized help from one of our experts.
So what we like to do for anyone that joins us for our webinars, and you, you would know if you've joined us before, is that we do offer a free training and consulting audit. And what that means is it's really just like a quick 20 minute consultation with one of us, um, just so that we can learn a little bit more about you and your business, and just try to find out in what ways that you can potentially, um, you know, if there's strengths and there's gaps, and what we could do to potentially help you. Um, we do offer you a report at the end of that, and we do offer not just like training solutions, but also we have like a plethora of uh, free resources that we are constantly and continually putting together. And, um, you know, we like to share, you know, we like to make recommendations on what blog articles could potentially help. Um, it's, you know, we love offering real solutions. This is something that, that we excel at. So there should be a link in the chat window. If you want to take us up on that, just click on there and just register. And again, it's absolutely free. And again, we're here to help for sure. So we do have some additional webinars coming up. So the next one is November 24th. It is a soft skills webinar series, quick tips to make you a well-rounded communicator. We see in December we have some, uh, we have business intelligence, uh, simple data with simple with data models and Power BI, uh, project in January, Visio in February, and OneNote in March. And we're always adding additional webinars to the schedule uh, for the upcoming part of 2021 as well. So to reach out to us, this is like, this is our contact information. Um, if you do have any questions for us today, you can go ahead and put them in the chat window. Um, while you're doing that, I'm just going to show you how, like just a little bit about our website and where you can find our free resources. And of course, our past webinars, if you wanted to watch those, they're absolutely available to you. So let me just share that window. Okay, can we see my CompuWe site here? We're good. Okay, so on the CompuWe site, actually, let's do it. Like this. You just need to go to our home page, but they should be on all our pages. You can see, um, you can connect with us on social media. Um, it's actually a great um, way so that you can see like the upcoming courses and initiatives that we have, as well as all our free resources. Um, if you click on to free webinars, you're gonna be able to register. I mean, you're joining us today, so you probably know how to register. Um, it shouldn't be an issue, but if you did wanna look at previous webinars, just click here and you can scroll down. And, and if there's anything that appeals to you, you can go ahead and watch it on our YouTube channel. Um, for JN Software, very similar with both websites. We do have our COVID-19 working from home um, resources resource page so you can pop on there you can see we've um, developed a working from home um, series of blog articles that we feel could be very beneficial um, again here is a way to connect with us on social media and we do appreciate all your support there for sure and um, of course you can easily contact us any way you prefer we're happy to talk to you. Um, you're always going to reach, you know, somebody, you know, between the hours of 8.30 and 4.30, you'll always be talking to us. And if you email us, we'll get back to you straight away. I'm just going to go back to our contact page here. Okay, so do we have any questions? Okay, it looks like we don't have any questions in the chat. Okay, that's great. So if there's no more questions, then I guess this concludes our webinar. We really thank you for joining us today. And uh, take care and stay safe, everyone. We good? Thank you, everyone.